to a new video. So in another video, you've seen me painting this wall. In this video, I'm gonna dress it up a lot more. So I went shopping and I got some items and I wanna change the circle over there and make it like a full circle. And I'm going to make a beautiful wreath and maybe like a wolf like dried flowers i don't know i'm just gonna play around with the dried flowers and dress up this area a little bit more maybe add some plants and some more furniture and then just see what it looks like so, so this is the area now like the photo shoot area and i'm gonna show you some clips of me taking some photos here and the final images and they're nice so i just added an extra rug and an extra flower pot whatever uh, and I want to change it up a little bit um, and then take some photos again to see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I got and what I found outside. So, this is what I found outside this morning. Beautiful. This is what I bought yesterday for like 10 euros. And it's, it's not the same, but it's similar. Like, you can see the difference. Like the front, this is what I bought. It's more like a grainy material and this is what I just found outside, which is more like a grass. So here you see them up close, what I got. And we're going to get some scissors. I'm going to use some, uh, maybe like some fishing line to add them onto the wreath. Uh, I used to have like this like metal wire that was green. Of course, this is all like earthy tone, like more like beige and like copper color. So I don't want to use the green thread. So maybe you can use like real copper thread to edit. But I'm just gonna probably tie some knots with like fishing line. So I'm gonna get my stuff and then uh, we're just gonna see. Probably the floor is gonna be covered with pieces of grass. Clean it up later. Probably these ones, I'm just gonna just stick them in there. So I'm gonna take these ones out. So most things in videos I've never done before, like this. So I pulled apart the eucalyptus um, bundle and I'm going to add that onto the wreath. This I like, I don't know if you can really see. I like the color combination. I might add in some eucalyptus if that's nice, but for now I'm gonna focus on the wreath. I'm gonna have you a little bit closer so you can see better. Um, and I'm just gonna like this. Okay. Okay, so this is the situation and I really like the um breath here you can see it up close some green some orange well, it's more like copper some eucalyptus i think it's really pretty like it okay so here you see the decor for now i've just been taking some test shots so i've added the ladder as well very nice
uh, two sessions today. The first one is a maternity session. Yeah, we're gonna take tons of photos here in the beautiful chair. But um, of course, a three-year-old is gonna run around. Uh, but I'm also gonna ask him maybe to sit on the armrest or just sit on his mother's lap. So this is from the thrift store and it's a little um, rocking horse and it's soft. Um, I don't know, like you can actually insert batteries in its tummy so it, it probably can do something as well. Like, I don't know, maybe it's gonna make noise or I don't know, I am gonna check later, not now. The session starts in like 15 minutes, but it's clean, it's here. So I can actually like place it right next to the chair where the mom will be sitting with her beautiful belly. For now, I'm still gonna hide it. I'm gonna place it around the corner. In case she starts running off, I have the rocking horse. Uh, and I have a little stroller as well, which I picked up in the thrift store. So I picked up this one in the thrift store and I think it's gonna be super cute as well because she's three, the older sister. And then she can just like play with this one. Okay, so as I'm ending this video, I thought I would give you a very good close-up just to show you how invisible the fishing lines are. So you really don't see them, which is great. Like, I mean, you can kind of like see them and I still have to cut off some edges. Like here you can see a knot. Um, I, I didn't even cut off the edges yet. Here you can see one. Like, and as I was adding on more, I would also secure 
the the underneath layers more if you kind of know what I mean like here you see so I'm just going to show you the back like here you go of course sometimes leaves um, fall off but yeah you can kind of see what I started with and then what came on later like yeah, in the back you also see the fishing line but in the photos you really don't see anything I'm just going to flip it over again I'm really happy with it photographs really well and maybe someday some parts will start falling off and I can always add more to it or create more so yeah thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it please like subscribe leave a comment I love reading your comments are you gonna make one yourself maybe just for in your home like home decor or are you gonna use it during photo sessions please let me know if you have more tips and tricks on how to add on like the uh, eucalyptus and the dried flowers and everything let me know or if you have like a specific flower that you know of that's really pretty in a wreath and stays really nice over time uh, let me know in the comments because we can learn from each other and I know there are other techniques and you can use like a other type of wreath and then use like a hot glue gun or um, whatever I use this technique and I hope you enjoyed watching the video and you can follow me on Instagram for more and um, yeah just if you make one, like upload a story or something and then tag me on Instagram and then I can share it in my stories. That would be fun. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.